Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see about how to troubleshoot shell scripting or R shell scripts or debug the shell script. So whenever you uh, have some errors on the scripts, okay. So how you can do that? So example say if I can say like um, uh, I have written scripts right. So in these uh, so in this session, so there are so many scripts. Example say if you want to see that each and every script is execution and their level of failures, then how you can do that? Okay. So any script which is uh, with the executing the script with the iPhone X will give you the detailed information that um, how the script is going to be executed. Example say that uh, nested if I am going to execute over here. So if you execute over here, please enter the mark something like that. So I say 35. Then what happens? The value has been taken over here and it is taking again enter some other marks. So then again enter some other marks. So like this. So each and every step over here. So you can see this right. So please enter the mass value. So here what it is doing it is reading the iPhone M value and again here it is reading read reading the P value here it is reading C value okay so then how it is executing each and every value over here see this 35 so all these values are executing and we can also see that each and every block of the code here okay step by step so like this the what happens it is that the script will be executed and you can see that which step it failed okay the same step if without using the f on x you can also use by modifying the shebang values over here example say if i say uh, edit this one and go to over here and just uh, iphone add iphone x so what happens this will execute automatically with the debug values so in the sense it will automatically execute all the code blocks you can see that code blocks that is the one way you can do is that uh, verifying your script so that the script can be uh, uh, know that uh, how it is executing okay so like that you can see that or else you can also see one more way is that uh, <coughs> example say like i am using here uh, word 2016 okay so here i am writing some code piece of code over here example say slash bin slash bash okay um, example say cat okay testing something like this test file i am going to use uh, uh, i am assigning this uh, cat values for here using the test okay and i am doing something like this uh, wc iphone l i am writing some code piece of code in the sense like um, if condition i am writing over here same if dollar count is greater than or equal to one i am saying then what well, execute something like this equal um, file has some content in it okay i am writing over here and i am closing the hip block okay i closed the if block and uh, i changed all the values over here and the same i am copying so there is no error in this code but i am just copying over, over here and uh, i am just saying that okay debug dot is something like this and i am pasting the code over here okay and save the script and execute this script what it says some error in this is called okay then uh, go to this debug script and there is a capital character over here in the cat okay so make that correction and see this so there is no errors example say dollar count is right and greater than value is one then it is executing this block okay now go and execute this debug block so the debug is executing correctly but 
what is the error over here so it is saying that there is some binary operator expected so actually there is no uh, maybe there is a test file in this yes there is a test file so that's why it is saying that but if i execute that values over here what are that deb debug script over here what it says the value count is one counter count equal to one greater than equal to one but the debug script says in the line number three there is an error okay and go and read this what is the line number three one two three so in this line there is some error so what is that error there is no error actually but why it is saying like this because what happens it is that whenever you are copying any script from the web location or from word files or from the uh, different uh, uh, editor from the v, um, v uh, windows so what happens it is that the ascii characters between the windows and the linux will be different so what happens whenever you do copy from script from the another location and you execute the script is correct but it is not executed perfectly so because of it says that in the greater than in between there is no space but it calculates some different values so that way it says that it is expecting some operator over there in this case what you have to do so you have to install okay dos to unix command and modify that file so what happens that it will convert your file to the unix format then you execute the same file over here say debug.sh still it says line number three is having some issues okay let's see again if counter is there any values missing over here i don't think right but here the values are different here see you can see the reverse code also will come in a different format okay like this so that is why whenever you are copying some some from some code from the windows are the different um, format so what you have to do you have to convert that file into the unix format then execute it so that is the one way of doing your script formatting so now again i am doing that cat the file debug file and copy this file okay and paste into the shell so which shell so there is a um, website called shellcheck.net so whatever the piece of code you written you just copy paste over here so what it will do it will automatically debug for you and sell tell you that where is your mistake happened you can see that this is an unique dash delete and retype in the ascii menus see this right so the script does not have any error but what it is saying that iphone whatever the iphone which is missed over here which is not actual parameter so you have to type that one again it is saying that instead of passing in a reverse code you pass the code into the different format so what i am going to do here is that i am going to make um, uh, different file called debug.sh i am writing the same code over here bin bash and i am saying that uh, count equal to cat space test and uh, write that wc iphone l and i am writing the same if condition over here say dollar count is greater than or equal to one then do echo okay file has some content in it and i am closing the hip block so here same content and the same script i written over here and you can see that is there any test file over here no i am creating the test and say something like this and it has two lines 
Now execute this debug.sh. What happens? It executes the debug.sh file without any error. See this? Is there any mistake here and here? There is no mistake. But you can see this iPhone has little different than this one. Right? So that's why whenever you are writing the code from any of the windows format or the word or somewhere else okay then do not directly copy those code into the linux so if you copy like that then it will give you a difference between the windows formatting and the linux formatting so that the code will calculate in a different way and the code does not have any error but it say it has some errors so there is a ASCII code or the Unicode difference. That's why the script says it has some error in the script. So if you see, there is no mistake. You can see that, right? Compare line by line or each and every character by character. There is no. So it has complete same scripts, but it's not execute. It will execute. So what is the difference here? There is a difference. That is the difference is that the code has some difference. Now, so here I written the values is correct. It is executing perfectly, but here I has the shell script some improvement over here. So I should pass these values using the parenthesis. Within the parenthesis, like this, I have to pass the script and execute it. It works, right? Now, above also works, below also works. What is the difference? So this script has a best practices so if you want to make sure that every script is perfect and it is working fine you can just copy paste over here see this everything looks good but there is some uh, say double code to prevent globing and word splitting so it is saying that some script implement over here whenever you are passing some variable values you have to pass that into the double quotations that is what it is saying over here like this now you copy this code into that shell check then it will verify the shell check and say that what is the error see this now it is a shell check output updating so now the error is gone now it is saying what is it is saying now useless cat consider adding command file name like this instead of cat command use this one it is suggesting like that so whatever the code you have you can do one one way is that do not edit the script or develop the shell script in the different format use any IDEs or a, um, editors which are supposed the shell basics or the shell scripts okay example say notepad plus plus you can use it okay in that you can use um, bash format or the bash uh, thing so that you can the code developer bash you can use that one so that it will you can uh, develop that code and copy paste into the uh, wherever you want so it does not affect you anything but if you write your script into word file or somewhere else you copy into the linux it gives you error but your code has no errors but it will not execute like example like this right so that is the shell script debugging so most of this stuff you can use X to debug your shell script and do not write any scripts on the somewhere else. So most of these stuff you write into the Linux itself using the VI editor or nano editor, whatever the editor you like it. Or you can also use graphical mode to write your scripts. And most of the stuff is that if you have any questions on your shell script, your shell script is perfect and optimized well or not you can just copy paste into the shell script.net or it will, it will verify and let you know the what you have not to use what you have to use all the stuff that's about this video thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming courses and videos please follow us on social networking sites 
if you have any technical related questions you can ask 